meteorologist Casey Laheka. Well, good morning. Here's what the sky looked like as we started off the morning uh, about three hours ago. And now as we go into the next couple of hours, uh, we still have some fog out there. So a little bit more fog has developed in about the past hour and a half here. You can see it getting darker a little bit. Those lights kind of flickering because of the fog. But uh, the good news is with this kind of fog, it's a little bit higher up, so it's not causing you any problems on the roadways. But we do have a dense fog advisory in place for some inland locations into northeast North Carolina, Hertford County, and into Northampton County as well into North Carolina. Uh, but overall, visibility is reduced for some. It's getting a little bit worse, actually, across parts of the south side. Chesapeake, Suffolk, Franklin right now seeing about uh, less than a mile of visibility. Still doing okay to Norfolk and uh, Virginia Beach right now. Newport News on the peninsula as well. Not looking bad either. Elizabeth City and Currituck right now seeing some dense fog. So something to keep in mind, but overall not a huge problem. That's uh, It's not quite as bad as what we have been seeing the past couple of days. So that's some good news there. Now, typically, this is a very rare scenario. This is not something you see all the time when we have a hurricane that is going to affect the same state that is already being affected by a winter storm. And yeah, they are seeing a lot of snow, a lot of uh, ice through parts of the northern areas of Texas at this point. And Zeta is now going to be making landfall somewhere along the Louisiana coastline. But some of those outer bands are going to be reaching into Texas. So really a busy time across much of the south while everything is fairly quiet across the east coast right now. And as we go into this afternoon, we will see some sunshine out there. It's not going to be a completely sunny sky. But I'm hopeful at least for a peak or two of sunshine here and there. And the winds will be at about 5 miles an hour. So light winds and warm conditions will be in the mid 70s through this afternoon. Then going into tomorrow morning, the bulk of the rain really off to the north at that point. So it's not going to be a huge concern there. But by the afternoon, uh, we are going to see some of those showers and maybe a few heavy downpours moving in. Now the heaviest of the rain is going to be through parts of the northern tier. So the closer you are to the Richmond area, that's where the heaviest of the rain is going to be. But still across the south side in northeast North Carolina, we are going to see rain there. It's just not going to be quite as much. So you can see those totals really piling up there uh, near the 64 and 95 interchange. But overall, it is a very mild start this morning. 62 Suffolk, 64 into Virginia Beach and Newport News right now. The wind's coming in at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. And keeping an eye on Hurricane Zeta, it is a Category 1 hurricane right now, but it is expected to strengthen into a Category 2 before making landfall somewhere near the uh, New Orleans area and then heading off to the north and east from there. So certainly something we're keeping our eye on. And your 7-day forecast, we're going to be in the mid to upper 70s. As we go into today and tomorrow, then really the bottom falls out going into Friday and Saturday, that cold air moving back in. And then chance of rain moves in by Sunday, but don't forget about training the clocks back an hour. Now Madison's up.